I've got a brand new tool for you. Now, let's be honest, spending weeks or months reading 50 to 100 research papers just to write a mediocre hypothesis that ends up getting rejected anyway is one of the most challenging parts of being an academic or a researcher. But in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a brand new tool that I have just discovered called Liner. And Liner is a powerful productivity tool for researchers and academics. It really helps with the most time consuming parts of research, such as forming ideas, doing a literature search, finding sources and citations for things that you've included in your proposal. Liner helps with all of this, allowing you to really focus on the thinking that matters. It's trained on an academic database of over 200 million papers, meaning that every single output that you get is evidence backed and every single thing is information that you can actually trust. I've been testing out Liner over the past couple of weeks and I am so impressed by the new AI agents and these agents are designed to do certain tasks for you. The three AI agents that I'm going to be speaking about and demonstrating in today's video is number one, the hypothesis generator. This AI agent is probably my favorite. It really helps with saving time from digging through endless numbers of journals and research papers, trying to find an idea, trying to figure out if it's novel and trying to make sure that it's a valid research hypothesis. The second one is the peer review agent and this agent helps you with giving very detailed feedback for any piece of work that you provide. So that could be a research paper, that could be an essay, it will give you detailed feedback just like a reviewer. The third is the citation recommender agent and this agent really helps to improve your credibility for your papers by finding highly cited peer reviewed and sources that will strengthen the trustworthiness of your work. And before we continue, the Liner team have kindly given me a discount code to give you, which gives you 40% off the annual plan. So if you want me to send you the link for that promotion, which I know you're going to be jumping on as soon as you watch this video, then leave me a comment down below with the word Liner. So let's start off with a hypothesis generator. Now this is what it looks like when you open up Liner. It's quite a simple kind of interface. It's such a lovely and clean interface and really easy for you to play around with. You can start a new question at any time. You have your collections for your research papers. You also have the agents there as well that you can begin to click on straight away. And then you have your history too. So it's really straightforward and easy. So what I'm going to do is I want to create a hypothesis. So all you do is write down the topic. And for me, I'm saying the impact of aging on cellular senescence in women. So the first step that it does is it runs a literature review, which it does share with you as well. So you can clearly see here the reasoning. It needs to understand the research properly conduct a thorough literature review, generate three novel hypotheses and make sure that it follows a criteria and it does have a set criteria that it uses for each of the hypotheses. Now that the literature review is done, I can read through it and I can give me a really good understanding as to what the topic is. And now I have three hypotheses and these are three different hypotheses, but still within the topic that I asked about in the beginning. So I've got three here. They're are slightly different. The first one's more about perimenopause. The second one is a bit more about tissue specific things. And the third one is more about a biomarker. So it's up to me to decide which one works best for me and which one I think I'm more interested in. But for each one, when you click into it, you go into this hypothesis uh, detail and it really goes into all the information about this specific hypothesis, why it has suggested this as a hypothesis, doesn't leave anything to your imagination. It explains everything with the references, um, things like clinical significance, things like feasibility, and you're able to read and dive into all the references to make sure you understand it yourself. And this is as you know, as ethical as you can get when it comes to AI. And one of the reasons why I really like Liner. And then you move on to the second tab, which is the review tab. And this is where it has reviewed each of these hypotheses. So it has a set number of criteria. The first is novelty to make sure that it's an actual real hypothesis that nobody has looked at before. Um, feasibility is the second one, significance and also clarity. So these are four different criteria that it measures against each of the hypothesis that's suggested to you. And then what you can do to be able to build on your hypothesis is there's two things that you can go ahead and do. You can add a new perspective. So I am able to say something like, actually, can we focus on women who do exercise? 
compare exercise women that do exercise to women that don't do exercise with this particular hypothesis or I can refine the hypothesis and it would just give me a little bit more detail maybe go into a little bit more depth you can probably notice this little label that says promising and it just suggests that these are ones that are maybe wants to consider a bit more than the other two. So I have two promising in this category, which is really good. Um, so the first one is focusing just on those that are have been physically active and it's given me some information about that. And then the other one that it says is promising is to do with the mitochondria. So it's gone into a little bit more depth to more of the cellular level. So it's saying to me, this is a more refined hypothesis to do with mitochondria um, in this aging process, essentially. So now I'm able to select the one that I want. I can keep on refining if I want. I can add different perspectives to be able to get me to that end point where I have the perfect hypothesis that is backed by research, that has sources, that has an explanation, that explains exactly how I got there. And I just think it looks really lovely as well. Just the interface, the UI, just the way that everything is laid out. It makes it so easy to navigate, to build upon, and to actually decide myself which one I wanna go for based on the information provided to me. If you haven't been wowed already, let's go to the second one. So the second agent is the peer review agent. So all you do here is you drag and drop a file that you've written. It could be a research paper, it could be an essay, anything that's academically written where you need peer review. And typically, if you're a researcher, you know that this can take weeks, it can take months, um, and, and sometimes you just don't get enough feedback, you just don't get enough detail, you don't know why they've rejected it, and sometimes you just need that feedback before you submit to, to avoid the rejection. Um, so you start off by uploading it and it does take a couple of minutes. Of course, these are agents, so it does take a little bit of time to get to the end result, which is absolutely fine. And then there are five reviewers. This is, you don't even get five reviewers when you submit your paper to any journal. So you have one reviewer for novelty, uh, rigor, clarity, impact, and limitation. And I love this. I haven't seen anything like this before. I love how the kind of highlighting for each reviewer, I love that you can see that. I don't know. It just, it just is a little touch that tickles me in a good way. <laughs> um, so it just kind of takes a bit of time to go through each one. And as it completes it, it ticks each one off. And then it consolidates all that information and it creates this meta review. And this is essentially a review of the, everything to do with all the five categories, the strengths of your paper um, for each of the categories. And then it also has blocks. So these are blocks that you refer to different sections of um, the paper that you've written. So you can click on the block and it takes you to where that block is so you know what it's speaking about. Um, and yeah, it goes through all the detail. I, I think this is so, so in depth. I've never been given feedback to this detail before. And if I have, it's only been like a small paragraph or a small section. But to have this for a whole paper, a whole research proposal, a whole essay, I think this is so powerful. And um, I think a lot of you guys will really enjoy this one, especially if you're in academia or research and you want to publish. So there's lots of um, sort of suggestions about a, a range of different things so it's not just to do with like referencing or context it's everything to do with the paper the things that you haven't included the things that you have included how much you've spoken about something how impactful it is um, and then you can break it down into each of the different categories so then at the top I can go to novelty and I can take a look at that um, rigor clarity um, and then you can also another way to look at the the feedback is you can actually just go to the paper itself um, on the right hand side and then it has the boxes there for each each of the sections there'll be four reviews for that particular section um, so if you want to kind of rather than looking at it on the left hand side where everything's kind of in one place you can start on the right hand side and then look at each box each section one by one and address it one by one that's also a way that works i think this is such a game changer because feedback is often so general contradictory it's hard to revise get information and make things make sense to be able to improve your research paper when the reviews that you get and the feedback you get takes so long, is so sporadic and just doesn't make sense or is not helpful to you. So 
this is an agent that I will definitely be using <laughs> very soon. And the last one, but definitely not the least, is the citation generator. Again, all of these three agents are very unique. I haven't seen, I've started to see agents now with different AI tools, but all three of these are really unique. And this one is such, is one that I haven't even thought about. I wouldn't have even thought about creating this. So well done to Lina for bringing this to us. So this is a citation generator. So let's say you're writing an essay, you're writing a literature review, a proposal, and there's a sentence or two that you need to find a source for or a citation for, but you now have to go and dig into the you know PubMed or all the journals or try to find the best one or go and ask a supervisor or go and ask someone in the lab like what is the best paper to discuss this instead of doing that you can just go to Lina and Lina has this citation generator all we have to do is upload a sentence or the paragraph that's missing the citation so I've uploaded quite a big part so it does take a little bit longer so it has identified that these are the sections where I need to add references so it's added these dots which is really useful so now it's just pulsing and it's thinking about what these references can be and on the left hand side I love that I can see this happening by the way um, you can see that it's selecting the best possible papers and there's different phases as well so it's like phase one um, I'm thinking about these three papers and then phase two these are the two that we have decided on and those are the ones that I'm going to add I think that's so cool this is we're living in 2030 at this level um, this is absolutely amazing and so so useful and will save researchers and academics so much time. The great thing is that I can click straight into any of those references once it's all finished and I can not only change the style of reference, I can copy and paste the reference, I can take it um, to somewhere else that I'm writing, if I'm writing it on Word or wherever I'm writing, I can take that reference there um, straight away, I can copy and paste the whole text and it's just saved me so much time and all the papers are there for you and I also like that you can see the other options of paper and if I want to I can decide to use the other paper instead if that's you know it, it's all about giving you the autonomy as a researcher and as an academic to decide on what paper and which citation makes the most sense for you. I can also add uh, papers to a collection so if there's a paper there that I'm like actually you know what I should really read this I'm adding it to this folder that I'm calling aging papers to read and this will be useful for me to kind of save a bank of literature for me to read at a later point. I really hope that you found this video useful and are as excited as I am to try liner as I said leave me a comment down below saying the word liner I'll also leave a link down below in my description or leave me a comment and I'll send you the link directly and you can get 40% off of the annual plan and look if you're an academic if you're a researcher, if you're doing any kind of academic work where you're looking for literature, where you're trying to find citations, where you just need someone to give you a bit of feedback, this, these three agents alone will be so supportive and so valuable to you. Um, I, I, I wish that I, I wish I had this during my PhD. It would have absolutely changed the game. So if you enjoyed this video and you just discovered Lina for the first time in this video, then leave me a comment and let me know what you think. And I hope to see you in the next one. And I'll be sharing more about Lina in the future because I've seen that there's a few other agents coming out and there's some other really cool things that it could do. And I just don't want to squeeze into one video. So watch this space and subscribe to my channel to see more from me. And I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.